Hi, John Ason, Director of Instruction down here at 3D Golf Performance. I want to talk to you a little bit today about leverage and using leverage to create momentum. And in the golf swing, we have a, a couple of different motions. Obviously, one is a, a pivot motion and the other is actually an upward motion where our weight is transferring but it's also moving up. This upward motion creates an incredible amount of momentum in the golf swing that develops into speed and therefore distance. So I want to show you a little bit of a drill, but before I do, it, do that, I want you to understand this from a concept standpoint. And it simply works like this. And if you think about a basketball player shooting a free throw, or any kind of a jump shot, they always bend down in, into a squat position and use that leverage to create the power. And, and the legs are doing most of the work. And then you've got your hands and arms that are actually creating the, the feel or the touch of the distance that they want to hit it. Very similar in golf in, in, in the position that once we get into the top of the backswing and we create a transition down, we actually have a little bit of a squat motion. And you'll see that in most good players. This squat motion would put me a little bit lower to the ground and at, at some point during the downswing, if I didn't move up, I would bang into the ground. So what I want you to kind of feel here is that you're going to actually be moving up as you rotate out to the ball. So if I'm coming down after I've squatted and I feel like I'm going to hit into the ground, then I want to kind of feel like I push up off the ground. Now, many of you have watched the juniors on the the driving range, or maybe you played with a junior at your local club, and you'll notice it's not as easy to see with the human eye, but you'll often notice that they're literally up on their tippy toes. There are some tour players that actually hit that position, Bubba Watson to, to name one off the top of my head, but there's, there's a certain amount of leverage that you need to use during the downswing that creates and, and builds momentum in the club head swinging through the ball. So the drill works like this. Basically from a good setup, you're gonna take it back to one to two, and then I want you to just squat a little bit. Once you've squatted, then go ahead and just take it up and feel the experience of moving up, pushing up with your feet. I drilled that one, got great contact, 150 yard 8 iron, perfect little drill to work into as well. You're going to hit some misses. You may want to just use a half a club to start with, but once again, take your setup, our usual one to two position here, and then from there, squat down a little bit, and then just feel like you cock your shoulders, and as you're traveling down, push up, okay? I'm going to try it again here for you. One to two, little squat. Beautiful little draw out there. The other thing this will really solve for you is this mystery of keeping your head down. And we have so many golfers that come to the academy here and practice and try to hit balls with that one thing in mind, keeping their head down. And of course, the head needs to stay steady, but it's really important that you realize that there's an upward motion to create downward thrust in the golf swing. So good luck with that drill, good golfing, and enjoy the hit.